hey guys I had feeling that I didn't show my finished pictures pretty long time so let's start this is Sherlock Holmes uh, it was mostly colored with ink tens different ink tens plus some watercolors Also in Rome, once again, it was made with uh, different ink tents. I really like different ink tents in Magical City. Mm. Magical Jungle, like this, you could see how I color this herd on my channel. I was using Prismacolors, I think mostly. And there is the golden ink. It's the background. It's pretty shiny. Ticket to Dreams by Karolina Kubikowska. Uh, in this picture, I did mix some watercolors and normal pencils. I think mostly Prismacolors or Faber Castell Polychromos. Here as well, uh, watercolors mostly, and you can see I was using some golden details again on the flower. Yeah, watercolors again. I think I didn't use anything else in this book. And watercolor. Okay, on the face I was using Prismacolors normal pencils, but for the background it is all watercolor. The paper is really good. You see, really good for using watercolors. Romantic Country, second tale. I have here only this picture. And I know it is really shame. I like this book. I don't know why I didn't color more in this. And once again, video how I color this picture is on my channel. So you can color along with me. Enchanted first. Enchanted first. I did color this picture using Derwent Ink Tense. Vivi by Maria Trolla. And here's this picture. I was using stable markers plus some Posca for the white details and some some pencils for this this hand. But except that everything was made with the markers only. Maggie screening using Prisma colors mostly or only Prisma colors, not sure now. Uh, and once again, the video how I color this one is on my channel. Serena, and here I have this picture. I was using um, Carandash Luminance and some black ink for the background. Čarovné lahodnosti by Clara Markova. This picture. Again using Prismacolors. I'm using Prismacolors like most of the time, I think. And here's the other picture. I'm really happy with this one with the background. I think the sky looks pretty good. Some like golden details here. <laughs> I'm using the golden ink like very often in my pictures. Okay, wonderful enchantments. I was using Carandash Luminance again. For the background, I used uh, watercolor. Here, this picture I color with Prismacolor. And I think I'm 
I'm, I'm happy with the colors in this picture. I think they go well together. It is the latest picture. If you want to color this picture with me, so just look at my videos on my channel. Summer Nut by Hannah Carlson. I'm, I really love this picture. Uh, it turned out pretty well. And once again, golden details. Look at that. Shiny. And last book is Intricate Ink Animals in Detail. I think every picture from this book looks really great. This one, I made video how I color this wolf. I was experimenting with the background because I didn't want to keep there just the black one. So I was I'm very proud of this picture. When you know that there was only the black background and I was able to change it into ocean. I'm pretty happy with the result. And I was using Prismacolors. So they work pretty well in this book, on this paper. Uh, don't be afraid to change the background, even when it is the black one. Okay, guys, so it's all. I was not coloring so much last year, but hope you did enjoy my pictures. Okay, thank you for watching and see you soon. Bye.